it up. At least I'm here. Though I'm a bit late. I'm here with my pen and book. All right. What have you done with those ones that you have written before? It's not my fault. It's the fault of my husband. He does not want me to do anything that has to do with music. Maybe I'll do it without his consent. That is kicking against God's principle. But he's obstructing me. And I prayed before marrying him. Yes, you prayed. But did I give you go ahead? The servant of God that I placed over you. You sideline in, thinking you know better. Gospel according to St. Luke. There was a man that did not attend the marriage feast because of marriage. Open to the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 20. I just got married, so I can't come. The man lost his position because of marriage. Please, allow me to ignore him so that I can do this job. You can't. Many children of God will not make heaven because of their partner. That is, any child of God that marry wrongly has 80% risk of not enter into the kingdom of God. Go to the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 6. Because of this thing, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of the disobedience. Do you mean the wrath of God can come upon me? Yes. Every children of God that does not obey his master will face the wrath of God. Master, I'm very sorry. Janet, stand up. Master, why? You are banished from this encounter until you do something with the one that is with you. Master! Janet, go out. Since the day of our encounter, you've never shouted at me like this before. Please, I'm sorry. You are banished. Out! through my marriage. Maybe God can have mercy on me. Then I can do something with the precious inspiration that he has given me. This is my musical jotting notes. I have scored most of the songs. You can go ahead and produce them. Although this is my destiny. But I'm giving it out free because I cannot fulfill it. I've tried so many times, but I'm defeated by my marriage. I can't forge ahead from here. One more thing. After producing it, Please, don't bother to bring any copy to me. Or show any sign of appreciation. From the bottom of my heart, I'm bidding my vision, glory, and destiny farewell. Please, undo with care. <laughs>
king. You are drunk again. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Good for nothing, woman. Uncle Tade, what happened? How can I explain this? The marketer said, out of the 10,000 copies of, of the album produced for the past six months, only 800 copies were sold. And just this morning, the person that bought 80 copies returned 65 copies. Is this serious? My dear, I think I need to go. It's time to go. But, take care of my friend. Take care of me. Kike, please help me out of this trauma. I am sick, yet no medicine can cure me. You are my only hope. For my sake, please, you have to do something. I promise I will never forget you in life. Evangelist Felicia, young and famous musician. I've long worked with her, but ever since I left her, we've never had anything in common. For my sake, Kike, please, you have to do something. I promise I will never forget you in life. <sighs> I left her due to some incidents that occurred. As a secretary, I accepted an invitation from Pastor Kunde with her consent. But after seeing another promising outing, Evangelist Felicia changed her mind and Pastor Kunde was disappointed. I felt bad because I was involved. I can't explain the agony Evangelist Felicia has caused me. Turning down those people that invited her to their program after they might have done an elaborate publicity, making these people pointing an accusing finger at me. Though she promised to help me if I ask for any help from her. Okay, please take me to her. Okay, let me see her first, then I'll feed you back. Ma, I have heard a lot of things about you. Most especially your contributions to the gospel music industry. I feel honored sitting in front of a well known gospel musician. Thank you for that. Actually, Kika has explained a lot of things to me. I will help you as the Lord will help me. Kika has served me. She's not even minding my childhood friend. Nothing is too big. I mean, nothing is too big for me to release to her. But, Ma, please, I still need some training. Please, you sit down. I know you need training. I will see what I can do about that too. You know what you are going to do for me? We have to meet next Friday. My dear, you've done a very good job. Yes, very good job. Exactly. Or oh, haven't too hard? Yes, I have had. Lady Evangelist Felicia called to inform me about the success recorded by the marketers. Yeah, this calls for celebration. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrating with what? God did something for us. And you people are here sitting, celebrating with beer. But I thought you said you only drink when you are sad. Not only when I'm sad. I also drink when I'm happy. I'm happy because God has done a very good thing for our family. And then um, I have to show the appreciation to God. I'm not drunk, my dear. I'm not drunk. I'm an advocate of drink responsibly. Huh? Um, now, let's put that one aside. 
you are a star. My wife is a star. You will now be addressed as Lady Evangelist Ellen. And more invitation will be coming in. I just want you to go and prepare because we are expecting more invitation from people around us now. When they come, at least it will please the sight to see the husband of Lady Evangelist with multitude of bottles of beer. Oh God, this is tragedy. I think I need to be on my way. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> just to change and save you I give you my body even when it is improper and now I am working against the will of God just to make you happy and to make you stop drinking but all accounting for nothing Ken you are never a Christian you are a perpetual drunkard what's wrong with you woman you call me a drunkard. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm just taking this because I'm happy. And that is the basis. You know, as a celebrity, spiritual attack is inevitable. So it comes from the enemy of our sources. <sighs> but I think we should inform Evangelist Felicia about this. She's more experienced than us in this area. Yeah, just let them try. Again. Old man, where? Ah, inside the worker. Ah, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Ah, my dear, my dear. You know we are the children of authority, but we we won't go out with that guy again. Why? Well, no, no, no. Well, no. Let me cut her to come and take us out. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, my dear. Ah. Don't go inside that place. What is 
time we are going to meet Baba now. You mean your spiritual father? Now, take it easy. Ma, little evangelist, we are children of God. You shouldn't have. Keep short. Ellie, be patient. Be calm. You are not to be out. Well, it was your friend Kike who asked for assistance on behalf of you. That is the reason why I consult the elders on your behalf. Yes. Consult the elders. That's the reason of your success on your musical album. Ma, if you evangelist, you consulting the elders, ah, you shouldn't have. I'm in trouble. I personally seek the demonic assistance due to the frustration in the ministry. I've entered into it. I cannot go back. So also you cannot go back. You're already enjoying their provision. Take everything! I don't want! Take everything! Keep your dirty mouth shut! Don't you know where you are? <laughs> too late. Oh, have you forgotten that it is too late for you to cry when your head is off? Now. Come now, now. And come and bow down. While I dedicate you, your soul, to the demonic spirits. The Bible says, Thou shalt not bow down to any other gods, but accept the Lord your Father. Are you mad? If you say any further statements, I will destroy you right there. Bow down! I dedicate your soul to the demonic spirit. <laughs> now that you are a member, you have to pay a membership sacrifice to the demonic spirit. And listen, this sacrifice, after doing it, hey, you are free just as a bird in the hair to release as many albums as you like, and you will be more blossom, glorious. And worthy, your glory will cut across the whole world. But you must renew your covenant every ten year. Baba, what is the sacrificial lamb, and how can I get it? <laughs> you ask rightly. Yeah, your sacrificial lamb. Your sacrificial lamb. Elin. You have been praying and fasting for the past three days now. Ken, the condition given by the wise man is ungodly. It can't, because money is the root of all evil. You don't seem to understand. The condition is absurd and evil. Do you have any option aside that? No. Then don't hesitate. Go ahead, do it. You don't even care to know the condition. All you have to say is that I should do it. Since you said that is the only option. This ceaseless prayer and fasting cannot do anything for us. Then go ahead and do it. If you don't do it, I will make you to regret it. Anyway, I've withdrawn 800,000 naira from our music account. Ken, we have just 850,000 naira. Why, Ken? I've spent it. Just make sure you release new album, then we get more money. 
That is it. I need more money. I am endangering my life. And this man is enjoying. Ken, you think you are wise? Be ready for your destruction. Money. Dear, I've decided to be taking star alone. I want to use this star. Anytime you see me drinking star, I'm dedicating it to you because you are a star. Whatever you like, you can do. Okay. But don't you think this is early money? <sighs> hey, but today is Saturday and I'm not going out. So? But at least, you can take tea first. Okay, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah, I love that. The man we went to see, he's giving me conditions that is too risky. Hope it will increase our marketing and your fame. 
yes, it will. Then do it. Do it. Do it now. But Pastor Godfrey used to say. No, no. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. Don't tell Pastor Godfrey about this thing. And anybody that stops you from doing this thing, God will destroy such person. I said God will destroy such person, Ellen. The man said, Your sacrificial lamb is your husband. What? Yes. He's not going to die. Wise one, please explain better to me. Look here. Your husband will not die. Take this. Your husband loves to drink tea. Good. <laughs> you just put small into his tea. And after taking it, that very moment, your husband will be living between the dead and the living. That is to say, your husband will be displaying madness. Madness! Look here. This madness we are talking about, it won't be on a daily basis. It will just be for five days out of seven days in a week. And let me give you this warning. Failure to carry this assignment or instruction out as you're supposed to will bounce back on you. Which means the spirit of madness will visit you. And again, if you dare reveal any secret that you have encountered here to anybody, you will die. Is a God of them, or because it is a sin, Ken? I didn't put the term in this because I love you, Ken. I love you so much, but you have ruined my life. Oh, no, no. 
says in the book of Psalm chapter 51 verse 17, the sacrifice of the Lord is a broken spirit. A broken spirit and a contract heart, oh God, will not despise. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to pray for him? Yes. If I didn't, I have failed God.
the human of to commit sin. And most especially the foundation of the mind with care is the greatest danger of your life. I did not do this because I love Ken. I did this because I love me. I'm messing on me. Ah, don't forgive me so that we can miss and suffer together. Ah, it was my husband's fault. Forgive me.
feel our office, that's the thing. That joy is all mine. It's a pillar of his destiny. Can't my choice, oh Lord. Did be right as I fall. It's a decorated angel. That joy is all mine. It's a pillar of his destiny. That joy is all mine. It's a pillar of his destiny.